So I just picked up this Yanmar SV40. This is a 2023 model, um, one of the last ones for the year. Got a pretty good deal on it. Um, it's brand new, hardly any hours on it. And one thing that it doesn't come with is a radio. Um, that was something that was missing. It does have the speakers in it, as you can see there, on each side in that blank plate there, and it's wired for it. Um, but it doesn't have a radio. I honestly didn't think it was going to be that big a deal. Um, but after running it for a few hours, I think I've, I'd like to have one. So I did price them out. Um, they're a couple hundred dollars, and you got to buy all these, uh, you know, these faceplate kits and antenna and all this other stuff. Um, and it just adds up to a couple hundred bucks, and I just don't want to do that. So one thing that I did come across was this. This is called Fast Radio. Um, I've already opened it up, but basically what this is, is this is a Bluetooth receiver, if I'm you know, understanding it right. Basically all this does is this helps you, this is a plug and play kit, so it did come with a harness that plugs directly into the SV40 harness that's up there. So you just plug this into the radio that they provide you and then you just put everything up there and you don't see anything. But basically what it does is you connect your phone Bluetooth to this like you would a pair of headphones and uh, then it just basically plays the music through the speakers. So looks like a super easy install. I'll give you a little rundown on that. Um, I haven't seen anything online on how to do it. So I just read their instructions real, real quick. It seems pretty easy. So let's go ahead and just put it in there and see what it's like. All right, to install this, you got this blank plate here. Um, we're gonna go remove that. It's just four Phillips screws. All right, so I just got this plate off of here and uh, here's the wiring harness already pre-ran for the radio. So we're gonna take our adapter here and uh, everything looks right. In the description when I purchased this, which at the end of the video, I'll show you where I got this. Um, you tell them what model and year you got and it looks like they already got it, the right one. So we'll go ahead and get that plugged in and then we'll plug that into the radio here and uh, we're gonna shove everything back up in there. There's plenty of room back there. We'll shove everything up in there and uh, put the plate back on and try it out. All right, so that's what it looks like finished. Um, it just plugs into there and then plugs into this. Really simple. Um, and there's plenty of room back in there to get all this stuff in there. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and turn the key on. It tells you to look for a blue light. If, yep, you can hear it looking for Bluetooth through the speakers there. So that's already good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop video in here and get my phone connected and try it out and let you know how it goes. All right, so we got all the wires tucked in there nice. Um, it doesn't take much effort to get it in there. One thing I'm going to do, though, I do have this 3M double-sided tape. I'm going to stick that to the back of this and then actually tape it in here, back here, where this plate will clear it. Um, main reason is, if you can listen when I'm putting it in here, everything's metal in here. And what I don't want to do is be driving down and listen to that. So I'm going to go ahead and 3M tape that on there, and hopefully that sticks it to enough to... Uh, keep from making a bunch of noise but other than that pretty happy with it i think this is gonna be awesome all right so i got everything tucked up in there um got that double-sided tape on there so that'll stay on there it's not moving around so that's gonna be nice and quiet so let's put this backing plate back on and uh try it out <laughs> All right, so you're probably all wondering, where did I get it? How much did it cost? What do I think about it? So this is where I got it, heavydutyradios.com, Farm Radio Supply. Um, got it on their website, super easy to navigate. Had a couple drop windows asking you basically what year machine, what machine you had, this and that. Um, and then they, they pretty much put the harness you need in there. This is the box it came in, but it did come in this box here, which is an Amazon box. I don't know if they repurposed this box and sent it out or if... I actually bought this through the site and they shipped it through Amazon. I'm not really sure. So I'm not going to say where I got it. I did get it from their website basically. But I will say this. From the time I purchased this radio to the time it hit my doorstep was three days, which is pretty incredible, um, especially if they didn't use Amazon. Everybody knows Amazon does a pretty good job shipping uh, two days, whatnot. But these guys had it here in no time. I wasn't expecting it to be here that fast. So that was cool. Uh, a couple key points. So now I'm going to rate this thing. I don't really do reviews, but this I'm going to give. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 flat out. A um, couple reasons why. One, I'm in my shed here, and just when I was messing with it, I walked all the way, which, mind you, the camera zoomed in a little bit, but on my phone, I'm probably, I don't know, 40, 50 feet away. I got about right here, and it started to cut out a little bit. And so that was pretty impressive that I could get that far away. The other thing I noticed after having it connected to my phone one time, it automatically net connects. As soon as I turn that key on, my phone jumps right on that radio. I don't have to click any buttons or anything. It just goes straight to play music. So that was cool. The other thing that I really like about it is that thing puts out enough wattage to 
probably blow those speakers. So if you're going to run these stock speakers in here, I think that thing's got enough juice to, break, to, uh, to per, uh, basically break them. So keep that in mind. Um, I listen to music pretty loud, um, so that's nothing new to me. And sitting in that little cab with the uh, speakers right behind your head, that thing played it way louder than I needed it to be, and that's the, that's the honest truth. I have a Bobcat T66 over there and the radio, and that thing sucks. It's just not loud enough. So don't have that complaint with this. So that little box does great. So if you were to upgrade the speakers on that, I guarantee you they'd work just fine. So but anyways, like I said, that's where I got it. And last but not least, what did I pay for it? I'm not going to say what I paid for it. Uh, for one or two reasons, prices fluctuate on things, cost of things, uh, go up and down. So I don't want to say, Hey, I paid, you know, I don't, I don't want to say what I paid for it. Cause I don't want it to be less or my, uh, plus or more or less than what you're going to pay. So, but I will say this, it was a hundred dollars cheaper than if I would have bought the radio, um, kit that goes directly in there and you got the actual radio and all that and the antenna and all this and that. So I will say that it was about a hundred bucks cheaper. So pretty happy with that. Still nice, sleek, clean look. I like, you know, I like my stuff looking clean. So that's cool. No wires, none of that crap. And the other thing was the biggest benefit about the whole deal took less than five minutes to install. It literally took me the longest time it took me was to take all four screws out of there and it would have went faster if I just would have went and got a uh, screw gun right away. So that's it though. Four screws, plug it in and uh, connect to it and you're done. So recommend. So if you guys are looking for that, hit these guys up. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.